clean drinking water, straight from the tap. We do a lot of work to ensure your drinking water supply is safe and healthy at all times. In fact, there's a lot of water testing undertaken across the whole water supply system, from the catchments, the rivers, the reservoirs, all the way to your tap. We collect and test water samples every year across the state, lots of them, in fact, more than 85,000 of them. We have a schedule that tells us when and where to take the samples and what tests we need to do. Once the samples are collected, they are taken to SA Waters Laboratories, known as the Australian Water Quality Centre, where they have a very exciting life, being analysed to check for bacteria and chemicals. Today we're going to follow a sample of raw water. That means the water hasn't been treated yet. By testing this water, we can make sure there are no water quality issues and decide on the best way to treat the raw water. Our sampler Adam is getting ready all the equipment he needs to collect samples from Hope Valley Reservoir. The water treater from Hope Valley provides drinking water for many people in Adelaide. Samples are collected from the Hope Valley Reservoir on a regular basis. I better make sure I sterilise this tap before I take my bacteriological sample. Turn the tap back on and just give it a quick flush. All right. As the reservoir is filled with rainwater and stormwater from the surrounding area, it can be contaminated with bacteria, chemicals or nutrients that support the growth of algae. I just need to put the temperature that I got this morning in, 18 degrees. Our labs collect a lot of data. From where each sample is taken, the sorts of tests done, and eventually, the test results. While he is out collecting samples, Adam also does some testing. This means he can get information very quickly and put it straight into the laboratory computers, even though he is out of the building. Just making sure, now that I've got my gloves on, um, I won't get any contamination from any chemicals that are in the glassware. Okay, now I've got my pink in colour. I know I've got some free chlorine in this sample. Here we see Adam delivering samples back to the laboratory. He docks the information onto the lab computer system and takes the sample to the inorganic chemistry area. Here the sample is registered in the computer system and delivered to the right lab area. Back at SA Water, there are several laboratories that test the water for different things. The sample is tested by biologists, microbiologists, organic and also inorganic chemists. All of the water we send out to customers needs to meet the Australian drinking water guidelines and SA Water puts a lot of effort into ensuring our water achieves even better than this standard. Hey Liam, I've got a job for you. I've got a sample here from Hope Valley, it's a pretty urgent one. Can you set it up for an ample count for me, thanks? Yeah, sure. Our biologists check for blue-green algae. These microscopic algae can make water taste and smell bad, and some algae can even produce harmful toxins. After each test is completed, the results are loaded into the computer system, and the information is then sent back to staff at the relevant treatment plant, so they can view the results of the tests. If the water needs treatment, the type of treatment and where it should be done in the process can be accurately pinpointed. So there you have it. All these people at the reservoir, the samplers, the laboratory scientists and the IT specialists all work together to ensure SA Water's product is safe and clean. So next time you turn the tap on in your kitchen, you'll know what an exciting life that little water drop has had.